today I'm going to show you how to do this wrap, this newborn photography wrap. This is a simple swaddle, so it's just wrapped around. Um, I do a little bit of crisscross and I use two layers. Um, that way it keeps the baby's limbs secure. And you'll see that both the feet and uh, the arms are inside for this wrap. And obviously you can go anywhere from this and start taking out limbs, um, one hand, two hands, um, unwrap it more to get um, the shoulders out, get the feet out um, as you advance. Um, but for starters, we're gonna keep this nice and tight. Um, you can pop a headband on if you want, or a hat, or you can do it without. So for this simple wrap, I am using uh, just a rayon stretch wrap, and these are pretty readily available. I have a link to one um, that's on Amazon um, on my tutorial on the PDF, um, so you can check out that link. Um, but they are relatively long. This is doubled up, so very, very long, um, which you'll need to go around the baby a bunch of times for that security. And then it's about, I think it's about, well, it depends if you stretch it or not, but 12 to 15 inches um, wide, and actually it will stretch further, most of them. Um, but the dimensions that they give you are usually unstretched, um, so that's plenty of room to then um, use on even bigger babies. Uh, and because I use the double wrap uh, technique, um, I photograph babies as newborns up to um, even three months old um, because I can just do a, you know one extra layer and then that keeps them nice and secure and they still want to be swaddled. Um, but if you can if you can do it earlier, that's usually better. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using today, just two of these. All right, so for this wrap, you're going to want to start with a well-fed baby. Um, with a clean diaper, and you can keep the diaper on because it's going to be totally covered up. Um, this brings the baby into a very womb-like position with the arms crossed in front, legs up, like so. And I like to do this on my lap. Um, I use a stool that keeps my knees a little bit higher than, um, like it creates a little bit of a slope. So. I have a little bit less than a 90 degree angle between my chest and my legs. Uh, keeps the baby elevated just a little bit and I can go up on my tippy toes if it's a fussy baby and rock back and forth, keeping them a little bit upright. Um, and most of them seem to like that. So I get the baby all positioned here. And if you want to use a pacifier, you can do that at this point. Um, that helps them soothe. Um, I'm using two wraps for this. Both of mine are the same color but you can use two different color wraps if they're close and then I'll show you like the stopping point between um, with one wrap or with the second wrap on as well. So this is kind of like a double. Uh, and so I put the wrap underneath here and it should extend from the baby's shoulders to under the bottom and on the, and I, I'm right handed so I keep my long side on the right and my short side on the left. Um, the short side should have about maybe 10 to 12 inches. And then I just put the baby's arms where they're comfortable. Usually that's kind of like down at the hips across the center. Um, some babies do like to have their hands out, but um, if they're squirmy, then that will make for um, a harder time to wrap them up. So you can start with them down. Um, and then the first pass just goes across those arms and tucks right underneath the baby on the other side. And once you have that, then their arms should be pretty secure. Again, the really squirmy ones will, you know, obviously continue to push against this just like they would in the womb. Um, but then as you go around and around, then you'll get a little more secure. So from there, um, what I like to do, because usually I put this pretty snug, again, it's, it's not snug around the neck, I don't know if you can see this, um, but it is snug around the arms. And so whenever you're wrapping a baby, you want to make sure that it's not snug around the neck, um, but it is making them feel nice and secure and tight um, down below. So if that's all good and secure, then you can start wrapping around the body. So I take this long length, and I usually... I don't like putting it on the ground because, you know, babies. <laughs> so I just usually toss it over my shoulder because um, it's pretty long. 
um, but you can take the top of it. Make sure the shoulder is captured. And then I, for this wrap, I keep the knee inside um, because it's all about trying to make them feel nice and secure so their limbs won't go anywhere. So capture the shoulder and the knee and then tuck it around the bottom and the back of the bottom. And then, yeah, so it's not just on top at the feet, it's actually down underneath. And, and then my legs are kind of holding it in place. And it goes around, and then you can take it up under the head. And at this point, I like to just pick up the baby, again holding the head, and flatten out this panel um, so that it is covering the back. Because up until that point, you'd have back exposed for the most part. So then again, capture the shoulder. And then same thing, do another wrap around. And when you have, you know, depends on the size of the baby, this is a small um, baby, but um, when you have a little bit left, you know, a foot, this is obviously two feet, um, when it can't go around again, then you can start wrapping over the middle again. I might be able to get another wrap around, but then, um, then I have nothing to put back over the baby. So at this point, I'll just cross it in front um, and then tuck it underneath. This is a good stopping point, so if you if you want, you can continue wrapping it around like I did. And, and then you can stop here, kind of you position the feet a little bit different. Um, there we go. Uh, and if you wanted to do a more open wrap for one, you could do that. It is less secure because if they are moving their hands, they're going to break free out of this. So when I start a session, I like to have them completely secure so that last pass is going to go over the feet, cover those feet up, and then I just tuck the excess wherever it makes sense to do so. So I actually can get it over the feet one more time. All right. So if you only have one wrap, that could work. It's not. Um, as finished looking in the front and again this is a very small um, frame for a baby so any bigger than this and you're not going to have as much to, for the coverage which is why I use a second wrap and for this one instead of starting underneath the baby I start on top so I'll stretch this out so I have the, the full width of it and just have enough on the top corner to tuck it under the shoulder and your left side, the baby's right side. And again, the weight of the baby is keeping that wrap in place so I can't pull it out. And likewise, they can't squirm out of it. So then it goes to the your, <laughs> your right, baby's bottom side. cross it over in the back and go from the bottom left to the top right. So we're doing a crisscross pattern. First we went this way and then we went this way. Being sure to capture the shoulder and again it's not tight up here at all around the neck. So you're going to continue that crisscross pattern. until you're out of wrap. And I show in my tutorial that you can stop at this point, then use this as like just a little creative flare if you need something in the background. So if the baby is like so, and then you can have this little tail in the background just for some added color. Otherwise you can continue wrapping around. It's easier to pick the baby up and move around if they're completely wrapped. So you can do that. And then while you're crisscrossing, sometimes, you know, depending on baby's shape, you get little pieces that hang. 
And the nice thing about these stretch wraps is you can just pull them and tuck them underneath. And then it's a nice round shape. So that is the simple swaddle wrap. Um, this last little tail would be tucked underneath the baby when the baby was on the back, its back. And so there you go. Um, of course, you can pop a headband on there if you want. And another thing that I like to do that's a really simple modification is take this last pass and make a little knot. And then tuck it under. And that just gives it a little something different. So there you go. And so if you're doing this with, uh, you know, many different setups, then you can do one with the knot, one without, and then not only would it be a different color wrap, um, but you would have a different, a different looking wrap as well. And um, you can do this top one, and as I said, you could take that top one off. So I would start with both, and then I would take the top one off slowly and reveal just the bottom, um, I call it an egg wrap. It just goes around and around them, um, and photograph that. Um, so yeah, that's the simple swallow wrap.